sure everybody's sort of happy and clear with what, what they need to do, and then we'll just get straight to it. Uh, one addition to the mission that wasn't uh, in the initial thing is uh, Rusty's kindly joined us. Uh, he'll be on the deck uh, in a 16 uh, at Kratori, uh, but he'll be providing some ATC for us um, as we're coming in to land, etc. Uh, so it should add a bit of extra fun and, and realism to, to what we're going to do tonight. Uh, so, so Rusty will not fly? That's correct, yeah. Okay, I'm going to put up a map in the member created missions thread in uh, Discord. Uh, let me know when you can see it. Yeah. Confirm. Okay, so what you can see there. Um, are essentially your your routes for everybody. So it'll give you a feel for where everybody's approximately going to be. You don't know when they'll be there, but you know it, it gives you an idea for uh, where the objectives are, um, where your routes are, where you know your other flight routes are. You've got the sixth fleet there doing an anti-clockwise rotation in the Mediterranean. Uh, you have Akratori to the northwest there as a friendly airstrip should you need to land there and we have rmd uh and the south there in israel uh, as another possibility if you need to evac and land at an airstrip there the other two waypoints that are out in the ocean uh sets are for awacs and for refueling should you want to do that any questions on what you're seeing there guys can you locate, uh, can you point out where is the alternate field in Israel? Uh, right on the bottom of the map there, the blue um, icon on the middle center south. Okay. I've included... Na Nazareth. Uh, say again? Is that Nazareth? Uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. The actual TACAN for it is uh, RMD, which is in your knee boards. Uh, does everybody have their knee boards? Okay, do I need to send mm -hmm. them out again? Uh, no. I don't think I have the latest one, no. Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll put all three knee boards up in the, um, in the member created mission area. The only thing that's slightly incorrect on there, which I haven't had time to adjust, is the caps aren't running with two AMRAMs, they're running with four per per, uh, per airframe. Okay, I'll get through the rest of the brief very quickly. Um, on the map, you'll see this, the, uh, the strike targets there, and you'll see the seed primary target very close. So for seed, that is their, absolutely their primary target. They need to suppress and ideally kill it so that strike can do their job. The secondary seed target is a, a nice to have, would be great uh, if it can be done. Uh, that will allow CAP to push to waypoint two and provide better coverage for the strike. Do we have any clue as to which direction out of which quarter they're coming, you know, the enemy, is it north to south, east to west, or it could be anywhere? Um, I think it's fair to say it'll be, um, so looking from the strike targets, it'll be anything north all the way round to east, sort of a 90 degree arc. That's okay. roughly where you'll expect any uh, any problems. In terms of priorities for, for each of the flights, I, I know I'm sort of telling everybody how to suck eggs here, but it's just wanted to go over this. Um, we all have flight leads. So seven is cap flight lead, uh, flash is strike flight lead, and Pete is seed strike uh, flight lead. Um, 
if you're a sort of wingman for, for these guys, don't break off and just randomly engage stuff. I know you won't, but um, this is a team teamwork exercise, as it were. Um, ask permission if you need to break off and engage any targets. Um, in terms of rules of engagement, yes, cap is there for a reason. Um, but if you're absolutely threatened and cap is, is just not able to respond or get there, then yes, defend yourself, do what you need to do, but try and focus on your target, your objective. Uh, what else is there? Guard 305. Uh, that communication is there. Again, that's just for communication between the various flights. You have your own channel for your own flight there. Uh, the indicated friendly air bases, which I've also included the TACANs for in the knee boards, they're really for emergencies. Ideally, it would be great if we could all get back to the carrier and land. Um, but if, if you don't feel you can make it or you, you're not up for that, then you know feel free to, to divert to an air base and, and that's fine. In terms of landing procedures, we're keeping it really simple. <clears throat> I certainly don't know how to do all of the proper procedures yet. Um, Rusty's here. He's going to uh, keep it simple for us, but help us guide us in safely. So that'll be really fun. That's about it. Um, are there any questions? Is there any ambiguities? Just, just to confirm the launch um, launch order, it's going to be cap first, seed second, strike third. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, for, uh, for um, cap, we'll obviously cap at waypoint one until seed um, report that the secondary target is hit. So um, yeah. we, need, we, we need seed to tell us. And we'll also need to know when seed and strike have left their target area so that we can come back afterwards. Yeah, so yeah. comms are really critical. Um, once you guys know that you, you've done what you need to do and you're bugging out, let Cap know and it's all good. And common frequency is guard on 305. That's right, yeah. All that information should be on the knee board as well. Sorry, somebody else? Uh, what's the frequency on uh, for the carrier? Uh, the carrier link or you what mean... The, link, the communication of the carrier, at what frequency will be that? Uh, we'll use 305 again for the carrier. Okay. I don't want to overcomplicate it. Roger. If I, I think if I'd have known that, you know, we'd have had the luxury of yourself joining, I would have probably set up another frequency. But, but for now, we'll just use 305. I'm good with that. One quick question, so uh, where are those? Sure. The, the strike targets are going to get laid one after the other. Um, how do we know when all of the targets have been lased and destroyed? Uh, there are eight confirmed targets. Roger that. Uh, the targets that we're mostly interested in, or 100% interested in, are the launchers. Uh, but there are a couple of targets there that are there for their protection. So it's more sort of a little bit of in quotes. Um, I'm not going to call it realism, but extra dimension. Um, if it's a case that you've destroyed all of those and it starts targeting those and you, you're out of Mavericks for whatever reason, then it's still pretty much missing successful and get out. But the ideal world would be to wipe out all eight. Cool. Yeah. Can you um, confirm the squads, please? Who's in cap, who's in seed and who's in um, cast? Certainly. OK, so strike is Flash and Scarlet. In seed is Pete and Mamba. In cap is Seven, Barker, and myself. We were going to be joined by uh, Viper, but he had to drop out last second. Uh, okay. We have Rusty providing us uh, some comms, ATC, and observing, and Cooper's going to be watching as well. So awesome. OK, cheers. Uh, one, one question, would like? Sure. Do you want to follow case three departure because I think the all the mission is night time? That's correct. It is night time. Yeah. Okay. So whoever first uh, for departure, call me in three or five, and I will explain the procedure for case three departure. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Any other questions before we hop on to the server? I'll give the password as well. Nope. We'll need to um, put that one on SRS as well, right? Is that? Yeah. 
uh, put what on SRS, sorry? There's well, no the, password for SRS. SRS. No, the yeah, the IP address is the same because because we don't have it, so I'll have to. Oh, uh, it will it. automatically connect. If it doesn't, I will help you. Ah, okay. Um, but okay. It, it should automatically connect. Um, the password for tonight is the same password as before, Star Trek with a capital S, but with the number seven at the end. I'm going to put my VR headset on now, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the server in a moment. So I just moved my helmet then. Uh, have you given the IP out? Sorry, I just had my headset off there. Uh, was that a question? Sorry. Is it, yeah, have you given the IP out? Sorry, I just had to take my helmet off. Uh, no, it should automatically connect. So when you uh, connect to the server in the... Are you using VR or are you using track? Yeah, it's IR? VR. That's why I keep taking the helmet on and off. Yeah, you should get um, on your um, SRS client. It should pop up and say it wants to connect. It sh it's like all of the other servers that we have. It okay. should auto connect. Okay. So, yeah, mine order connected just fine. Sorry, could you give the IP address again? I probably you probably said it while I had my helmet off. You don't need the IP address, Barker. Just uh, server six. Okay, I didn't realize it was server. Oh, well, mine's not showing server six. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, it might not be in your favorites. Um, server 6 is a fairly new server. Okay. <clears throat> I know you've got it on pause, but as soon as I tried to jump into my slot, it's come up and says my flight is delayed. Please wait. Yeah, that's the pause. Okay. Welcome to Rodite one. Airways, where everything is delayed. Well, easy, Jeff. I've got one, two, three. I haven't got six yet. Still no six. If if you don't end up finding it on the list, uh, we'll get the IP for you, mate. Okay, now I've got it. Bishop to Rook, is it? That's the one. Is it Star Trek with a big S? Yeah, Star Trek with a capital S and then the number seven at the end. Ah, okay. Seven, who would you like as two and three? I, I really don't mind. I'm just sort of filling the gaps here, mate. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So just jump in wherever. Okay, mate. I'll jump on three. So Barker will be next to you on two. That's a fascinating name you have there, Rusty, Seaweed. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can't see it on the uh, kneeboard rodite, but all the targets being lased on 1688. That's correct. It should say it on the kneeboard. Uh, does it not say it next to waypoint three in red? Might be man looking. Sorry. Let's have a look. <laughs> Negative. It does not. Oh, bad drills from me. I'm sure I updated it. My bad. But yeah, 1688, the standard. All good. Nice one. Thank you. All waypoints are already programmed on the planes, correct? That's correct, yes. The the speed that I put in on the on the knee boards is a suggestion, not a rule. So if you need to go slower or faster, do what you need to do. This this isn't a time on target where timing is critical. I think the, the main things are that seed get to do their thing first, then strike, um, and careful react as appropriate. How are you getting on there, Barker? Are you able to connect? Yeah, where it's um hang on a minute, it's yeah, I think Oh I see you connecting so. now. I see you connecting. If you've got any mods installed, you'll have to disable those. I had to. Okay, is everybody in okay? Scarlet's in. So, yeah. Yep. Right, I'm going to um, unpause the mission and we'll all drop in and I think we'll s try and stick. Um, I don't know if we'll have it. Yeah, once. Yeah, let's just get it started. I've got a very dark carrier deck. Anybody else? Is that? I haven't turned the lights on yet. <laughs> it's better. Copy. NDG installed. Check on When you're on 301 Scarlet, we'll do a uh, communications check. Come on. Okay, if, if uh, the last right member of uh, the cap can let us know once they're clear, please. This is uh, cap lead, um, ready for takeoff.
Jury 2, come check. Jury 1, loud and clear. Awesome. <clears throat> Do things like um, what is it under seven miles out, not over. I don't know about case three, but normally 500 feet, isn't it? And then you climb something like that. Seven miles as case one in there. Uh, that is correct. Uh, climb straight ahead in the DRC. Uh, five miles, uh, you should be 1500 feet or above. Uh, seven of the miles left or right then for your uh, route. Repeating for case 3 departure after the coffin sequence, 30 second separation, uh, you should climb 1500 or above up to 5 nautical miles and then 7 nautical miles of the BRC north, turn for your route left or right. Copy that. Copy that. Sequence is uh, as per launcher. One. So launcher one seven, launcher two is a uh, marker. They are gonna do first. Okay, seven is going up. One airborne. Parker, clear takeoff. Takeoff spilling up.
guys, we have take off when ready. Are you sticking NVGs on Scarlet? Affirm. Okay, Roman 1-1, one, one, Roman 1-2, one, uh, request for permission to launch. Taxi to launch. Clear taxi on the launchers. Fucking break. Roman 2, proceed to emblem for 2, straight ahead. Manual clear the cough when ready. Roger. Roman 1-1, one, one. launching. Clear to launch, launch. Flight ready for taxi. Jury, clear to taxi. Launchers one and two. Blind everyone. 
everyone. Ooh, bump. Going for. Shot underneath you, it's impossible to see anything. Jury one one uh, launch one ready. Watch that. Salute. Maintain 250 knots until you catch up. Copy, you went straight out, yeah? Uh, yeah, straight out, now heading 070. 070. Who's blind, say angels? Uh, three and a half. I've got visual on you, nine o'clock. That can't be you. Two still blind. There you are. Bloody hell, it's hard to see. And all 
customers. Should be pretty straightforward for us, I think. We just uh, take it in turns, picking up the laser, and then rifling the Mavericks. Yeah, I had thought that uh, if we go uh, about a three mile trail, um, that should put us about 30 seconds apart on target, which should give us time to launch one off in turn and hit different targets. Perfect, yeah. One, do you have your lights on? It says on my little panel that they're on, but looking in that too, they're not. Exterior lights master? It's a pinky switch on the throttle. Safety low, safety low. Oh god, that was a poor rejoin on my part. It's under hotel options. Hell is hard to see. There you go, Christmas tree. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, uh, so should we increase speed to four knots? Sounds good. Leave the throttle at 98 percent and uh, see how fast we get. Because we've got some catching up to do, I think. Copy. Okay, Roman 1 1 and Roman 1 2 have hostile. Um, aircraft at our heading 350. Copy the same. We have nows.
questions and me. having fun. Shall we continue? Uh, yeah, make sure your mouths are on, uh, yeah, 1688. Uh, yeah, unscrum, lights off, all that jazz. Your lights are still on. Strokes. All good. Thank you. Heads up, bandit. Ten o'clock. Friction, one o'clock. Uh, 
right behind you, dude. He's turned hot again. He's maneuvering. Seven miles, Fox 3. Jury 2, Fox 3. Jury 2, Splash. Visual. Okay, this is Roman 1 1, 35 miles from primary target. Crest waypoint 2. Nails, MiG-29, uh, 11 o'clock. Okay. Where are you? miles from waypoint 2, uh, we'll drop down into the valleys. Uh, yep, copy that. I'll move behind you. Seems I'm de facto lead now. Okay, I'm good with this. I'll slow down a bit as well to try and get that separation.
Miss Lab on you. Where is this guy? All flights, this is uh, Stim Cap. We are pushing to waypoint two. Engage. Bullseye zero seven eight thirty. I think I just lost my flight lead. Ah, uh, fuck, where are you? That's not me at all. Off. Ah, fuck. Yeah, Roger. Altitude. Altitude. Gotta watch out, he's got a bandit behind him. We have a uh, big 29. Is on. I think we have miles. a hot mic which is staying on.
your spot. I'm looking at it. There we go. Jury 2 rifle. NBG's on. Nice, thank you. Ah. Fuck this. NBG's on. Come on, fucking voice attack. What's going on here? NBG's on. NBG's on. Fucking Christ. Like this. Just stay down low. Altitude. Altitude. Jury 2 is defending waypoint 3. Oh, 
Altitude. 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 I need help. Bulls 07240. Jury 2, you have two cap over you, we're engaging. Bingo. Jury 2, bugging Bingo. out. 300. Pull up, pull up. Out. Big 29 splash. Altitude. Altitude. Shit, someone just died. Jury 2. Send for Jury 2. Way the fuck up there. It's Mac 1.1. Right, you want some asshole? Come get it. Jury one. Where the fuck were you? Yeah, it's just rotor and flash left. Anyone in Discord? Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. It's just right out and flash left. Yeah. Yep. See, I got one SA19 and then the other one, but I mean, they're optical and I didn't get any warning. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I see. I thought flash Is... died. He did. Oh, we got a new jet, did he? He got. 
reincarnated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I tried pressing the target uh, myself. I got one away, but then there were just so many. I just had yeah, to run. Loads of, yeah, I saw there was loads of MiG-29s. Yeah, well, so I I got, I, sorry, I got one... I want to say 19, but I don't know how many there were there. I got two, got um, two nails from two of them. But as I say, I got the first one, but then I, the other one just hit me out of nowhere. Mm. And I wanted to run, but Rodite told me to go back again. Because <laughs> I had well, about four, four MIGs or something, you know, I thought, well, yeah, well, I mean, Scarlet was still down there doing the job, you know, and I was just like, no, I'm not going to abandon Scarlet. <laughs> he, he got one smirt. Oh. Was this just too hard, or did we just beat this wrong? I think there were far too many MiGs. They either Roger need to that. be older jets, or not that many of them. Also, the SA-19s make it a very difficult challenge with optical. Oh. Bit too... Bit too challenging. Especially, okay. at, especially at night, because you you know if they go optical, you just can't do nothing about it. Yeah. And I think with the full moon, next time I'm going to run HMD because not being able to see the data link targets really hampered my situational awareness. Roger that. Yeah, I had to keep switching mine backwards and forwards. Oh. Yeah, but you know, at night when you fly low, NVGs are uh, one way street. You cannot fly without. Yeah, them. exactly. Yeah, and as, as, yeah. Sorry, as Scarlett just said, you got, you're not then going to have your, um, your target showing up on your HMD, are you? Yeah, but I it's think, a it's I a full moon, so I could still see, um, see the terrain. I had to look around my HUD a couple of times because the HUD glass was too dark, but I could still see the terrain from low enough. Yeah, I could just. What gamma do you use? Because basically, if you whap the gamma up to three or five, <laughs> or whatever, then it's like daylight almost. <laughs> I'm at one point seven. Yeah, that's dark. Didn't think of that. that was dark. I had to put it up. Yeah, yeah. I, I started off at 1.8 tonight and couldn't see anything. So I think I put it to 2, I don't know, 2.2, something like that. Yeah. Oh, Flash has got on one two. away. And of course, now there are no, there's no cap. No. The return to the airfield. No. <laughs> Cap's gone home. Yeah. Flash has disconnected from the chat as well. I don't know where he's gone. Flash and I also sort of swapped roles halfway through that. Um, I became mm -hmm. flight lead. Just because it seemed like... Uh, I knew more about how to work the Hornet oh, than he did. Oh, good shot. I mean, it's more good aim on the JTAC. <laughs> on the other hand, I think we need a different strategy regarding uh, CAP. Yeah, I yeah. think if CAP could be above and ahead of the strikers rather than holding station out at sea, that would be a lot more useful. Maybe use an escort strategy. Yeah. I mean, uh, be, 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 being close to the seed uh, and close to the strikers. Mm. Because when we have threats, they can immediately turn towards them. Yeah. yeah. Threats hit us way too, well, the air threats hit us way too early. But I don't know, we have the attack view, maybe Rusty can help us. Remember, I'm the one that, that set the waypoint, so that would be my bad. Oh, well, no, you don't know this until you start flying it for the first time and everyone's in their place, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, I, th you... I think mission was okay, but uh, we have to rethink the strategy. Yeah. The only thing I would probably say is maybe swap out the SA-19 for something else. Yeah, I can change them for something a little bit more reasonable. Um... You don't have to. It's your mission. I'm not, you know, but I just don't. I mean, I got one. Uh, we might have been okay if, it, if, both, if both of us, um, both myself and uh, uh, member got there at the same time together because i got one but yeah um, I didn't, because I didn't of the cap i didn't anticipate the migs getting to you to be honest because i thought cap would be there and we'd pick them up but they they just seem to get very excited about seeing you guys <laughs> yeah as i said i didn't even yeah, see yeah, them exactly 
they just they were just transfixed on Mambo. Yeah, I think if there was less enemy cap and or they were in less capable aircraft, then that would go a whole lot better, I think. Yeah, they have. Um, I was trying to keep it sort of uh, bracketed for what Syria have. Um, they have access to MiG-23, so I might swap out some of the some of the Yeah, they have access to But yeah, any advice or feedback is going to be very welcome. Would like to give it another go at some time mm. once you once you tweak yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Because I enjoyed the carry. You know, I'd love. To, I've been saying I want to do a night flight and carrier takeoffs and stuff. Yeah. I'm a bit gutted I didn't get to go back. Yeah, me too. Man. And I think um, we should do a, a training mission on carrier ops because uh, you know, Flash did a bit of a wonky departure procedure and it took me ages to find him. Yeah, I think um, I don't think we've done much of that at all, mm. uh, or at least not in my time, which would be cool, learning yeah. how to do that. So. Hmm. And also, uh, Flash didn't know about the um, Hornet's external lights master switch, so his lights weren't on for a good portion. Is that the pinky switch? Yeah, that one. Very useful. As for the uh, air defences, um, perhaps if the SA-19s were replaced with Igglers, so that they're only a really a threat if you get really stupid close. Is the SA-19 one of the primary targets? Uh, no. Uh, and SA-2 and, uh, and SA-11 were the primary ones. Right. That was a fun mission, even... So we all died. I did not anticipate us getting MDK'd like that, to be honest. <laughs> <coughs> I did like the route that you had at the uh, the strikers on, with that run down the valley. That was cool. Oh yeah, the seed was the same. It's lovely. Mm. One second, guys, I'm getting comms on Discord. Right, well, I'm going to shoot then, everyone. Cheers for that, Rodite. Thanks, mate. Oh, cheers, man. Um, yeah, look forward to trying it again. Uh, yeah. Do we yeah. want to debrief the tech? Yeah. Not yeah. for me. I need to bomb out now. So thanks very much, Rodite. It was really great. Very good. <laughs> thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot. See you later, everyone.
Oh, sorry, guys. I've uh, had to take an important phone call then, so uh, I missed anything, anything anyone said. Mm -hmm.